Hello and welcome back. And Casey is she's still trying to pressure me to jump. So I'm I, I've been thinking about this tower and of uh, what has happened. If like it um, showing me the area, this is like the synchronization in in this game. It kind of shows you the area like in Assassin's Creed. And it kind of made me, um, makes me think of Saints Row 4, is it 4, where where you had, you're a superhero and you're in the digital kind of world, and, and the aliens has taken over and you're the president of the United States? Yeah, it's that one. Um, oh, that's, that was, that's the King of Red Lions noise. Oh, um, what, 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 was, what was his voice? My, my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. I don't think this is his voice. I will work on it. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land. One after another. It's almost as tough. As though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? Hearing voices in my head, man. Well now, a voice, you say. And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I think I know who this voice is. But... No. I see. Well, this is unfortunate. Casey is mumbling in the background. <laughs> I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle? That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength, for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I don't know if I can keep that up. And the voices kind of sound different. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. I had a feeling you'd see that. Ho ho! Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs, with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a par paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over, or paraglider. Oh, ho, ho. Co didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Let's see. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Main quest, the isolated plateau. Been the fog. Come, let me show you something. <coughs> Is he gonna show us his wrinkly dick again? Uh, wrinkled dick, <laughs> wrinkle dick again. Okay, show me. Is there something flying in the distance? It's a legendary Pokemon. A legendary Pokemon? Do you see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. It looks like it's going, oh. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider, a fair exchange, I believe. Yeah, I'm sure. My old man voice has has changed from the first. 
episode because I do not remember. Okay, we, we're going to go get treasure for the old man. Yeah, there's something floating in the sky over there. Just taking a quick look at the surrounding because it's beautiful. With a little bit of scarring here and there from Calamity G Ganon. They can't make a game at all without Ganon in it, can they? You know, in Link to the Past and... In, in, wait, no, it wasn't Link to the Past. It was... Seasons and Ages. Where... Oman Aw Shrine. The villains in that game were... Not... Ganon, they were other villains. I don't remember. Anox, I remember that was one of them. I thought, this is interesting. Ganon's not in this one. Until the end, he appeared. The she Gaslight confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. Okay, let's do this. So, does this is this what su uh, suffices as a, a dungeon in this game? These weird like structures. So, what is your favorite Zelda games? Mine has always been Wind Waker. And if, if not for Zelda, to who set foot in this shrine? I, Oman Aw, in the name of the goddess Haia, uh, the Magnesius trial. All right. I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm guessing this is a puzzle. What are we doing? Uh, we're powering up our, our Sheikah Slate with Blue Powerade, the Nectar of the Gods. Magnesius. So you, we, we digitally download these runes into the Sheikah Slate through the power of Blue Powerade. This is cool. Oh shit. That almost almost got squashed by that. I'm I have turned down the the volume from the game audio because it felt like we were having to compete with our commentary with the game's audio. We're still learning, or I am. Ah, oh, shit. How do I, how do I flip? Okay, there we go. It's not really flipping, but, okay, there we go. Shit. Ah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm not really doing too hot. Whew. Okay.
What do we have here? An ancient screw. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's the first <laughs> first thing we can get out of Casey. <laughs> of course, an ancient screw. Uh, Anytime this link screws is going to be ancient. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lol, lol, lol. Ancient screw. <laughs> ancient screw. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be the name of this episode. Uh -huh. <laughs> Boom. Gilf? What? What? What about Gilf? An ancient screw. <laughs> oh. oh Gilf. I got it. I got it. What about a good Gilf? You know, I was just wondering that. Extra like G. like when it's like Great. What? What, what, what do you call... Okay, a gilf is... What, what, what is exactly is... Grandfather. Okay, a grandfather. Or grandmother, w I guess. What, what do you call it when it's um, the great... Uh, is it like the great-grandmother or great-grandfather? I'm going to go with gilf. A gilf, okay. Gotcha. Gilf. Okay, go, I'm trying to figure out how to get... To this chest right over here. I like how the the motion controls for the switch is minimum. Okay. Push. You realize when you watch this back, you'll see it like immediately. See what? The way to do it. Do you see it? No, I'm not really looking, but I'm saying like as you watch it, you'll be like, "Freaking idiots, right there!" Yeah, I know, right? But now that you're in the moment, but it'll yeah, take you time. I, and, and it's gonna take me a moment to. Yeah. That's that's the thing about editing. I can edit this to make it seem like. I am not the idiot that I am. <laughs> all that ancient screw is. <laughs> it's all that ancient screw. It's on the top. Yeah, see, I see some something. Platforms on the top. Yeah, I see some platforms on the top. Can you do me a favor? Hmm. Crush yourself with it. Crush myself. I do not want to die. Oh shit. Whew. I thought that was gonna end a lot worse than I thought it would. Maybe this is one of those where I have to come back for that chest? Hey, comment below. T tell me how to get to it. Wait. I didn't get to a good look at whatever or whoever. Is that a redad? Or are you just... Bitch, you ugly. Now that's an ancient screw. <laughs> yeah, that would be a gif... Uh, what, what did we call it? g g g gilf A, a g g yeah. Her duty is now fulfilled. <laughs> what, what kind of gift you giving me? Oh, a spirit orb. The mummy. Mm hmm. Do you remember the Redead? The and the Legend of Zelda? They they <laughs> they scream at you and they and you get frozen and, you and, latch and on? they latch on to a, a hug really and they suck the life from you. A symbol scary. of courage given to those who have been overcome the challenge of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Gilf, ba. Yeah, tell me how to get that chest below. 
because I am not going. Oh, and <coughs> it seems you have managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> or paragliders, please now, old man. How did you know? Clairvoyance, ho oh, ho, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can be it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's eyes. However, Called cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> that which was once hidden from you can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Ho ho. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine. It's all connected to your penis. Oh! Oh no, it's Chica Slate. You carry on to your, your hip <laughs> to your Dorito. He did. He pointed right at his Olive groin. Cat! <laughs> what do you mean? It has been quite some time since I have seen that Chica Slate. <laughs> Uh, long ago, a highly advanced tribe oh, the the Sheikah in inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved the kingdom Oops. time and time again. But their ancient technologies disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and uh -huh. I will give you my paraglider. That was not the deal. Liar! I feel misled. Ugh. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like uh -uh. you. I'm gonna suck it. Since I am feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? I, I am going to choose that because... Ho ho. I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. Alright. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with a Sheikah slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Thanks, old man. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'm going to end... Uh, yeah, that was... I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, thanks again for joining us, and I will see you next time. Bye.